Hello and welcome back to Techie Chat. Well, today we are going to be taking a look at FreeBSD 14.0, which has recently been released. And of course, for this, I am going to be using my trusty W520 ThinkPad. It's amazing to think that this laptop is now 12 years old. Actually, maybe even 13 years old now. And it is still going strong. You can't say that about a lot of that age laptops nowadays, but this indeed is still going strong. Now, I've installed FreeBSD 14 on here. Let's take a look and see what it's like using XFCE. Join me after the intro. So here we are. This is FreeBSD 14.0 running XFCE 4.18. Now XFCE 4.18 has been out for a while. Obviously uh, FreeBSD 14.0 has only just been released. Uh, although it has been in development for quite some time. Um, I really like this version of XFCE 4.18. I think they've really polished the system off. It actually hangs together really quite well. And the defaults that you get with it when you install onto FreeBSD uh, are really pretty good. Everything is more or less functional out of the box. What I would say is that uh, when you install XFCE, make sure that you install the XFCE goodies as well. Now, uh, just to be clear, I've obviously had a play with the terminal. This isn't the way the terminal looks by default. Uh, so all I've done here is under appearance, I've gone to background, made it a transparent background and under presets, I have set it to green on black. OK, so let's take a look at HTOP, which I've also installed on this uh, install. So as you can see, with simple screen recorder running, uh, we are currently using 1.23 gig of the 15.8 uh, gig RAM available. Now that's actually fairly good. Uh, obviously, it, with that not running, things are a lot uh, a lot less simple screen recorder does take up quite a lot of memory however it doesn't seem to slow this system down now i'm really impressed with the performance as well on what is essentially a 12 year old system and to demonstrate that what i wanted to do was to just show uh how perhaps a everyday user maybe uses their system. Uh, in the meantime, uh, we'll just skip over that, uh, open another tab and we'll just go back, skip that. Okay, so <clears throat> here's another one of my videos, FreeBSD LXQT, open box window manager configuration. Um, should probably plug my channel. Uh, if you would like to know how to build uh, FreeBSD from scratch with an XFC desktop environment. There is already a, another video on my channel, which is the th how to build your own FreeBSD 13.1 desktop. And uh, it's essentially exactly the same on FreeBSD 14.0. Um, obviously, XFC is also now uh, 4.18, but the steps are exactly the same. So Rather than going over the same old ground again on how to set up, uh, I would give that video a watch and then you will find out how to set up FreeBSD with an XFC desktop. Obviously here I've already done that and uh, really this video is about demonstrating how well FreeBSD uh, runs uh, with XFCE, that's FreeBSD 14. Now as you would expect with FreeBSD, they do supply uh, monumental uh, document documentation. They're probably one of the better people for documentation, uh, certainly with uh, keeping documentation up to date. So um, 
pretty much anything you want to find out about FreeBSD can be found on the FreeBSD official web pages. There are quite a few release notes. Uh, some of the highlights, however, uh, are that the overall performance has uh, been slightly improved. There is better support for newer hardware. So if you have, for example, a, a newer Intel C CPU or an AMD CPU, they are more likely to be supported. Um, they support FreeBSD now supports uh, more cores as well. Uh, there has been updates to uh, ZFS and OpenShell, SSH as well. Um, but overall, uh, if I was to give my overall user feedback on FreeBSD and XFC 4.18, I've got to say it is super, super stable. It's just great. As you can see here, I am whizzing through the uh, tabs on Firefox, kind of demonstrating how, well, at least uh, most average users uh, would perhaps be using their system. Now, this 12-year-old laptop is absolutely not struggling at all in doing that. And uh, obviously, it is an old i7 CPU, but and it has 16 gig of RAM, but, you know, it's still quite impressive that it's able to do all of this without struggling at all. It Bear in mind, the desktop is also being recorded in full HD as well. And indeed, uh, although obviously you can't see it, uh, in recording this video, I have actually uh, recorded this video using my uh, W520 FreeBSD 14.0 and XFC 4.18 in Caden Live. So it is super stable, I, I, I've got to say, and actually pretty quick. I, I've been really impressed with the way things uh, are working on here. So Firefox, yeah, absolutely no problems there. Firefox is running well, it's super stable. Opening multiple tabs isn't an issue, uh, and there have been no crashes. So that's kind of just like a general user feel on uh, FreeBSD 14.0 with XFC. You can see there as I uh, as I came out of Firefox that the uh, memory usage uh, and the CPU usage uh, went down quite significantly. So whilst I was putting this video together, I just thought, hey, why don't I just show you my desktop running on this ThinkPad? W520 as it stands right now. Now, as you can see, it looks a bit different to uh, what I was using before. Um, that's because I've customized the appearance, but I just continue to be impressed with FreeBSD. As you can see there, the SD card that I just inserted into the side of the ThinkPad there just popped up automatically. There was no messing around with auto mount or anything like that. It just works under FreeBSD 14. Little things like that, they just continue to impress me about this release from FreeBSD. Now, I'm pretty much throwing the kitchen sink here at uh, this laptop and the fans aren't really kicking in at all. Obviously, I'm using more memory, but here I am. I'm running Caden Live. I'm putting a video together. I've got multiple file managers open. I've got XFC Terminal, I've got Firefox open, I've got Audacity open, and yet the fans aren't even kicking in on this laptop. The CPU isn't even uh, under strain. I think it really challenges this preconception that you have to pay a premium for a decent, modern, fast desktop experience on a PC today. You simply don't. Just to go into the appearance a little bit of what I've done here, uh, I'm using the Greybird Dark, I'm using Cora for icons, and under fonts, uh, I've enabled uh, anti-aliasing, and I have a slight setting on the hinting setting there. I've upped the custom DPI settings to 110. Um, it might be my eyes, but I just think it looks so much better on this uh, TFT 
panel on this uh, W520, I can actually read the text. It looks smooth. It looks nice. And um, yeah, I just think at the moment, I'm really enjoying uh, using FreeBSD 14 and this version of XFCE on this setting. And I really just wanted to share that experience literally as I'm putting the video together. So yeah, really impressed with this release of FreeBSD. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, review of uh, FreeBSD 14 and indeed XFC 4.18. If you have, then please click on like and subscribe down below. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks for watching.